This is the exclusive video of the inside, exclusively inside of the new Nigeria presidential private jet worth more than 150 million billion naira. And uh, the aircraft name is Airbus A330243 and type is A332 and the serial number is 1053. And it was produced in 29, that is like 14 years ago, this aircraft was produced. And I know some of you might be like, uh -uh, why are we buying an old aircraft? Come on, man. If you want to buy an aircraft, a new, brand new aircraft, you have to put up an application, pay the money, then you wait for a couple of years to get the new aircraft. You understand? So you cannot just say, I want to buy an aircraft and you go to the market and you will see brand new aircraft just as the way you want to buy a Rolls Royce or a Tesla. No, it's, it doesn't work like that with planes. Well, I don't want to deal with the controversies surrounding the aircraft, but let us just check the magnitude of this aircraft. The interior design and the space. Just to tell you how massive this aircraft is. You know Davido Bombardier, just to give an example, you know Davido Bombardier, I'm very, very sure most of you have seen Davido Bombardier. Just imagine four Bombardier stacked together, something like this, one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, stacked together, makes up this one aircraft. I'm not saying the price, though, but I'm talking about just how massive it is, how big. And if that aircraft alone apparently what more like 150 billion era, but you know, they are still going to redesign, redesign the aircraft, the interior of the aircraft to look well more like uh, Nigeria with the Nigeria logo and uh, whatever specification the president wants. They will still redesign it. So it's going to still eat more money. So you guys that are complaining that the aircraft is too expensive for 150, why are we spending that much? 150 billion naira for an aircraft. Sorry to bust your bubbles, guys. Eh? They are still going to spend more on the interior. That means they are still going to spend close to like, close to like, it depend on the material. They don't use any kind of yeah, yeah, material for aircraft to not be like this kind of cloth that can easily catch fire that they use. There are some specially made uh, materials they use. So be expecting uh, the federal government to still spend like additional 50 billion naira eh, to redesign and put basic amenities inside. But since it's an old aircraft, that is why we were able to see, see the interior of the aircraft. So I don't know how they are going to redesign it again now. To redesign it to look it because they have bedroom. They have about uh, three toilets. Three toilets. And uh, there's this uh, conference room for the president and chairs for other uh, dignitaries. So that's to say whenever the president is traveling abroad now, maybe for any conference, this man can comfortably carry more than 100, 100 delegates with him, comfortably. So now the question, no, just as you watch the video and, and just see the magnitude of, of the uh, aircraft, let us ask ourselves the question. Was it better for Nigeria to spend money on buying tickets and booking private jets? Or is it way more better now that we have our own private jet? And meanwhile, don't forget, oh, now, theory private jet deal. Now, theory, they say them seize for France, but they release one. And we don't know about the other two yet. You understand? We don't know about the other two. So we don't know if those two were possessed. I, I, if they are still brand new, all the old aircraft that Nigeria have been using before, we do not know. We do not know. But this one, the presidential private jet was released and uh, it's so massive, guys. So, so, so massive. 150 billion naira. Damn. 150 billion naira. I think uh, Tunubu just need to give some of us the, you know, the slim opportunity to go into the private jet. And meanwhile, it's a public private jet. It's, a, it's for public. It's, it's for the public. One day, if you become the Nigeria president, you can own that private jet because it's temporary owned. And one day, if I become the next Nigeria president, I will temporarily own that private jet. 
So until I leave office, then the next person will continue for where I stop. But the private jet is massive. That's to show you how luxurious Tinubu is. He doesn't like to play with his luxury life. And you see the new car he bought. Meanwhile, the past president were using these Benz. Benz, Benz, Benz. La la, he say, yeah, you know they use Benz. Oh. He say, la la, he can never use Benz. Now they go give a bulletproof uh, car. He said he himself can never use Benz. And he bought a yacht as soon as he assumed power. He bought a presidential yacht that was already budgeted, that, that was already proposed for. That was already proposed for. But then again, we cried as I then know. Many of us cried. Ah, Nigeria no need a yacht. But at the end of the day, we go. They don't buy the yacht. They buy the yacht. And you see a lot of people complaining again about the private jet, about the, the change of uh, presidential car. Come on. But it still goes on doing it. And according to Showara, he said, Bola Tunubu finally launched its $150 million. So if you convert $150 million to Nigeria currency, that is no longer $150 billion. That is about 200 and something billion naira. So sorry, sorry for underrating that private jet. Come on, I, I should be calling it a private jet because it's way bigger than a private jet. Sorry for un, uh, underrating that jet, but it's worth 200 and something billion naira. Because according to Showa, it's 150 million US dollars. They say the only thing that makes these Tiffin rulers in in Nigeria happy is when they fulfill their personal desire. They don't care about the people. It is the time for the people to bond and take them head on. That is coming from uh, Show Warrior. There's someone said, just within one year, this is what President Tunubu is using our money for. At a time when citizens are going through hell to survive, this is what our governor is using public funds for. I wonder how his supporters still defend this. It's well, well, their supporters will tell say, I press the buy private jet. You now want to make it die. Me, they use the old private jet. Private jet, he complained that the private jet is old. It's no longer functioning well. You now want me to continue using that private jet. You now want to make it die. May get accident for up. Here. Yeah? That would be the, the, the easiest explanation for buying a new private jet. Do you want our president to die? Do you want our president to get accident? Ah, why not allow him to... Or do you want him to be renting the uh, jets? And we already know renting jets with this our president who are making trips every day abroad. Renting jets is not favorable to us at all. Renting a jet is not favorable to us at all. But then again, everybody are entitled to their own opinion. But like I've said before, I do not want to dwell on the controversy part. I just want to dwell on the private jet, the exclusive inside look of the private jet. So let me know exactly how you feel about the private jet, guys. Let me know, guys. Is this something that you would like to own in the future? Because me, I would like to own it. Too. And in order for you to own this private jet in the future, you must become the Nigeria president. Or you make money on your own, buy a very large private jet. Like Donald Trump. Donald Trump and one day, all those uh, billionaires have their own big jet. Drake also have something kind of like close, but not as big as this one. You know, just uh, make money and you're going to own it. But if you are planning to on riding this particular one, uh, you must become Nigeria president first. So, you see, that is why you see all those people nearly even buying themselves in order to be the next Nigeria president. You understand? Well, the jet is massive, guys. I'm not going to lie. Really, 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 really massive. So I wonder what the redesign will be now because this is the old design. So I wonder what the redesign will be now. So that being said, just to play around a little, let's talk about the Kogi State, something that is really trending online recently. So let me just read the headline to you guys. 
So the new governor now of Kogi State, that is uh, Usma Ododo. In fact, I think I'm going to call my Kogi brother to ask him what he feels about this. In fact, I, I, I since I will call him because this guy get as the better be. You know, the always greasy. You know, the only greasy governors bad. So they say Usma Ododo approves. 1,192 additional aids. 1,192 additional aids. That's to say, he has other aids before, but I do not know the many, but apparently it was more than 100, 100 aids. So now, he now includes 1,192. That means, in every aspect of his life, there is someone that is there to advise him. If you want to make a sentence A or B, somebody is there to advise him if that sentence is good. If you want to take a step from here to the toilet, there's a special aid that will advise him if that step you want to take eh, to that toilet is good. If he wants to anything about his life, in the office, that means there's an aid there to assist and to advise him. That's what it means. Because tell me, how can someone need 1,192 aids? For what? And those aids will be paid salary, Abi. Those aids will love to own a car, Abi. And how do they how do they come about owning cars? Badger. Badger. You understand? 1,192 aids. Uh -uh. How is that even possible? Abi employed his entire family, his extended family, and even employed his extended family family to be part of the uh, to the government uh, function. Can somebody make me understand that, guys? Because I'm just trying to wrap my head around it. Why do somebody need one thousand one hundred ninety-two eights? I think there might even be an aid for in case you want to have an intercourse with his wife. The aides will tell her, is this right or is this wrong? Because what is their job? I honestly want to know their job description. You know, make I know their job, what did they do? Well, aid, okay, I'm here to advise so 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 so. This one I'm here to advise so 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 so. So that you will know the job. In fact, I think I need to call this guy. Just hold on. A very good friend of mine is my brother from Kogi State, who I really, really uh, respect so much. But uh, you know, the ever greasy governor's bad. He's always on the. Uh, well, I pray. Abdu! How my brother? How come, say, your governor, they get 1,192 aids? Waiting, you. You know, you know, as I did, do you? If you see, see. Ah, the thing where the guy did, eh? Uh -huh. He he they make the the his to lead the grassroots. You know, see this word, all this uh, word congress, uh, each each word. Mm. He put the put say for them. All those say say for the report, the working they have in the world to him. That is the making all those things they have. So word, you know, the local government. He justify, he justifies person. He justify person getting one thousand. Okay, how many local government there you na state? You na local government past forty. You na local government because the highest local government na kano uh, forty. Twenty-one. Okay, twenty-one. So you he need one thousand one hundred ninety-two. How person need one thousand one hundred and ninety-two eight? I'm telling you now, I said I'm holding him to chop that money. Then the money expand to 
<laughs> Why you they call it dope food now? <laughs> <laughs> okay. He don't do, he don't do, brother. Ah, Abdul. Okay, okay. He don't do now. Nah. He don't do. I beg. Later, 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 later. Later, 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 later. Later, 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 later. later. The guy never seems to amaze me. I felt talking. When you ask a question about his state, now it is, it, 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 there are more people may, may never benefit, benefit anything from the from his state, too, but he will always defend his state. The state. This guy is a true Nigeria. If the kind of person either do or die, even though they get cobble, I go defend my country. <laughs> now this guy be. Well, uh, thank you very much for watching the boy again. Catch you next time. Peace. <laughs>